At long last, the visions of the Kyoshin are now in focus, and now we can get a clearer look at what the new hero has to offer. I will admit though, I'm gonna miss seeing 30 posts a day asking why there's ghosts in For Honor, since now I'm just gonna see Kyoshin OP or Kyoshin Hot. In case you missed it, some Japanese Goros took over Temple Garden, and after the event ended, they began roaming the battlefields of For Honor as spirits, but instead of haunting people, they were running around or just kung fu fighting. It turns out though, they were Kyoshin, an ancient group of warriors who taught General Tozen clone jutsu. As such, you see the moves and armor Tozen used available for For Honor's newest anime protagonist. Legendary. If Aramusha and Black Friar had a baby, it would be Kyoshin. Yoshi can begin chains with a superior block light, heavy, a dash forward heavy, dash forward into Tozen's kick, Orochi's dodge attacks, sprinting heavy, or zone attack. All of these lead into Kyoshin's bread and butter mix-up of bash or undodgeable attack. Light or heavy undodgeable? Why not both? As you've likely seen already, Yoshi also has Tozen's all guard, Kaze Stance, which they can use to cancel attack recoveries like Aramusha or fast flow into after blocking like Black Prior. Unfortunately though, you can't use it to cancel hit stun recoveries like Aramusha can. From the all guard, Yoshi can light from the right, unblockable heavy from the top, or zone from the left. Kaze Stance has superior block status, and if it catches an attack, your follow up becomes unblockable but deals slightly less damage. Like with Aramusha's Blade Blockade, some heroes have low enough recoveries on their zone attack to beat any counter, but that's a topic for another video. If any attack out of Kaze Stance connects, you can follow it up with Fujin Cuts, up to 3 guaranteed light attacks. The first two attacks deal 1 damage, with the finale dealing 8 damage for 10 damage total. However, this ends a chain and you can't fast flow into your Kaze Stance. Alternatively, you can throw Fujin Force. Fujin Force can be performed after a Kaze Stance attack whiffs or is blocked, and after the first or second hit of Fujin Cuts by throwing a heavy. While this attack can be blocked, you can flow into All Guard after the attack and it deals more damage and has superior block in all directions during the attack. If Fujin Force catches an attack, it becomes unblockable and deals more damage. This means if someone tries to dodge attack your move from Kaze Stance, you can catch them with a follow-up heavy. I know I just threw a lot of information at you regarding the All Guard and you're probably scratching your head wondering what does this all mean. Because Kyoshin can fast flow into their All Block after an attack, it means like Black Prior, they have easy access to an unblockable attack. Defensively, this also means flowing into it after a whiffed attack or after blocking an attack makes it easy to deal with follow-up attacks. And even dodge attacking an attack from Kyoshin's All Guard is risky because they can follow follow up with a heavy that has an all block built in. This might seem oppressive, but keep in mind this is all dependent on the skill of the Kyoshin player and their knowledge with the character. For max punishes, heavy parries give a light attack or zone attack, and light parries give a heavy. Guard breaks and wall splats both guarantee a heavy. Parries against out of stamina opponents or while you're in revenge give Yoshi top heavy to heavy for 54 or 71 damage. If hypothetically the top heavy speed gets nerfed, dash heavy into heavy gets 50 or 65 damage, or you could always zone or light attack into heavy as well. Many are excited for the ability to cosplay as Tozen, but why would you want to cosplay as Tozen when you could cosplay as Tozen with a basket on your head? Saying the cosmetics for Kyoshin looks awesome is an understatement. I honestly think there's going to be something for everyone to love here. Just like Warmonger and Griffin, each set piece has a regular and alternate version that modifies it slightly. In this case, for the chest pieces it modifies how much clothing they have on. In the arm section, choosing regular or alternate determines how worried you are about protecting your hands. The head pieces is where things get really interesting. Most of them change the visual aspect slightly, but many let you change the color of your hair based on the material color. We all laugh when Marigold came out, but little did we know the dev's true plan. Well played, Yubi. Well played. Another interesting little tidbit is that the color pattern also determines the color of your eyes. Keeping with the recent trend of other heroes, ornaments go on the arm pieces. The customization of their scabbard and Shikamizue, which I likely mispronounced so I'm just gonna call it a cane sword, is pretty solid, with my personal favorites being the tiger sword and the bamboo stick. On the much speculated topic of the hero's gender, I can confidently confirm that Kyoshin is one. Sadly though, in the build we were given, Kyoshin didn't have any instrument emotes so rest in peace any hopes of a basket man playing the flute, but the rest of the emotes seem to fit the hero well.
There's four executions, all of which are very solid and pretty creative. Because Kaioshin is a samurai, of course one of them has to look like it was ripped straight out of an anime. Finally, Kaioshina has two signatures, Serene Return and Patty Cake to Fighting Stance. On their gear, Kaioshin can get any of the offense perks, meaning up to three of Gale Storm, Devourer, Early Reaper, Endurance, Survival Instinct, Crush Them, and Headhunter can be equipped. What I love about Yoshi's unique feats is that three out of four of them are directly integrated with their kit. Once unlocked, their tier one and two activate whenever you perform a superior block. Kageru causes attacks over the next few seconds to apply bleed damage, and Hikari Mori lets you heal from these attacks. Basically confirming that the reason Kaioshin looks so young is because they're a vampire. Hikari Takage lets you activate these two feats on demand, rather than wait for a superior block. And as long as you are landing superior block attacks before the timer runs out, it resets, letting you use the feat for longer. What's even better, you can have other other feats in the tier 1 and 2 spots, and Hikari Takage will still activate both Kageru and Hikari More. Mugen Hoyu sends an opponent to Horny Jail, and at first I thought it was a pretty weak tier 4 until I saw this. Unlike Pugio that targets one opponent, anybody in your immediate vicinity is targeted. If an opponent notices you raising your hands to the sky or the giant circle at their feet, they can get out of the way before they end up trapped or open to a free hit. Mugen Hoyu also deals direct damage. For their other feats, in Tier 1 Kaioshin gets Iron Lungs and Speed Revive, Tier 2 has Arrow Strike and Smoke Bomb, Tier 3 has Tough as Nails and Protected Revive, while Tier 4 has Arrow Storm and Fear itself. I will without a doubt run the unique feats, but once everyone learns to dodge Surprise Prison, I'll use Fear itself instead of the Tier 4. Now that we're 3 for 3 on story related heroes since year 4, with the Warmongers and Kaioshin both being groups of warriors related to a campaign boss, and Griffin being the return of a campaign character, my money is on the next samurai hero being Ayu returning wielding a Yari, with a group of Jarls who served under Goodman Deer using a double sided axe, and the return of Runa as a shield maiden using a sword and spike shield coming next year. Kaioshin relies heavily on counter attacks and predicting their opponent's moves, so if you enjoy being able to outread your opponent, then Kaioshin is for you. And as always, the For Honor Information Hub has all the extra data you need on attack timings, damage values, and more, and can be found in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to my Patreon supporters, especially Sweckles, Kyle, and Shadow. I hope you all enjoy the Kyoshin as much as I did, have a good one, I'll see you on the battlefield, and on the next video.